These are not the results that hospital patients and families expect. Gangrene, maggots, death. But this is what U.S. investigators found when they looked into conditions at the Dawood National Military Hospital in Kabul in 2010. One said the conditions at the hospital, quote, were Auschwitz-like. Another told members of Congress what he saw. The open vats of blood draining out of soldiers' wounds, uh, the feces on the floor. They also found local doctors and nurses demanding bribes from patients. Thank you. U.S. military uh, officers did report Colonel the Carl. neglect and abuse to the inspector general, but say they Colonel ran Carl. into interference from this man, Lieutenant General William Caldwell, the U.S. officer in charge of training Afghan forces at the time. These colonels say Caldwell told them there were political considerations to take into account. His first response to me uh, was, how could we do this or make this request uh, with elections coming he was referring to the hotly contested 2010 congressional elections. Caldwell allegedly ordered the request for an investigation to be recalled. He eventually allowed it to move forward. But now Congress is demanding more information from the Pentagon. It is also evident the commanders were under enormous pressure to portray a positive image of the war effort at all times. The Pentagon says it's reviewing the allegations against Caldwell and that patient care at the hospital has improved. Congress is considering more hearings on the hospital matter, and it may call General Caldwell to testify. Through a spokesman, Caldwell said all of the allegations that he tried to interfere with the investigation will be proven false. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Capitol Hill.